Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying five products for the eyes that are new to me. We've got an under eye powder. We have a shadow, a liner, a mascara, and like an eye brightening product. So if you guys would like to see what I think of the products in the thumbnail, then just keep watching. So first one is this powder from Jouer. It is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, and I have the shade Fair. This is supposed to be a silky pressed powder that hydrates for comfortable wear and diffuses the look of imperfections for a flawless demi-matte finish. Now I lightly powdered the rest of my face with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder, but I didn't do the under eyes because I want to see if this works as like a brightening powder. I would normally use my Maybelline Fit Me under the eyes, but I want to see what this does for the under eye area. Now mine did arrive broken, so I had to repress it, but this is what the compact looks like. Very pretty, very luxe. Now I usually will use like a little puff like this. I got this on Amazon, a pack of four. Um, I think they're really great dupes for the Tati Beauty like blendifuls because that business went out of business. That's the color right there for reference. I don't really notice much difference from side to side. Maybe it's because I had to repress it, but it doesn't seem very smooth. It's brightened, but it looks really heavy. I don't like that at all. It makes me look like I have old crackly skin. Maybe the key is to use a brush. Let's use a brush on the other side. No, I don't think it's smoothing at all. I feel like it's emphasizing texture. Okay, so not a fan of that one. Okay, moving on to the next eye product. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Ray. I've never tried these. I don't know if these are cream or powder. Okay, looks like this. Okay, inside looks like this. They remind me of the L'Oreal shadows. I forget what they were called. I'm in a similar little package like this, and they were kind of bouncy feeling. Yes, this reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal shadows. All right, so we're just going to dust it on the eyelids. That's a really pretty like one and done shadow and all the glitter comes off of the finger completely, which is nice. It all transfers to the lids. It doesn't stay on your finger. So I think this is really pretty. So, so far we have one flop and one win. Next, we have a liquid liner from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I believe this came in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. Okay. Reminds me of like the Wet n Wild or like Milani liners. Okay, it is like a paintbrush style, but it feels very stiff. Very stiff, wow. Like there's no bend to this at all. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> This is not a brush. This is like a toothpick. It doesn't move. It has a very slight bend to it, but really not much at all. It's very stiff. Okay, I don't think I like this one either, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> This video is not a success so far. Okay, so not a big fan of this liner. I don't think I'll use it again. It's just too stiff and too hard to work with. So next, let's move on to a mascara, which is one of my favorite things to try. This one is the Pure Eyes Fully Charged Mascara Powered by Magnetic Technology. Oh, it says this age-defying mascara formula contains a revolutionary positively charged matrix that attracts to each individual lash to strengthen, thicken, lengthen, and separate for unparalleled performance. I've heard really good things about this mascara. This was also in a BoxyCharm, I believe. Looks like this. Okay, and the wand is very separated, spiral, small bristles, it looks like. Very separated. Hmm. All right, let's check it out. A very dry formula unless it's just not coated. Yeah, it's a very dry formula. I'm not getting much with every swipe. I mean, 
mean, they are staying separated, which is nice. It's just taking a while to coat all of the lash from base to tip. So I guess it looks all right. They're very curled looking. This didn't say anything about curl, but they look very curled. I'm not sure if you can tell. So this is no mascara, mascara. I don't know, it's not smudging to the top lid, but it is smudging to the lower lash area. Like I'm gonna have to clean that up quite a bit. When, I, when it's dry. So let me finish the other eye. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like with the mascara on both eyes. It didn't smudge at all to the top lash, but it did smudge a lot under the lashes and it takes a little while to dry. I tried to go in and clean it up with a Q-tip and then it just kind of smudged black along the lower lash line. So just be warned, it takes quite a while to fully dry, but I do like the way my lashes look. It might be hard to see with the thick black liner. It's I feel like it did a really good job with curling the lashes. So let's move on to the last product, which is this one from Benefit. This is the High Brow Duo Pencil. It says Dual Ended Brow Highlighting Pencil. So it looks like there's a light pink and a soft gold. Ooh, so we have a highlight shade and a brightening shade. Looks like this. So on the one side, we get this shade, which I think is the gold and it's shimmery. And then on the other side, you get a matte pink, so a shimmery gold to highlight and a matte pink to brighten. So I'm gonna use the matte pink on the waterline. Nice and brightening. And then the gold under the brow and the inner corner. It's not quite as bright as I would prefer for my skin tone. Same with under the brow, like it's not quite bright enough for me. So I like half of this pencil. I like the pink brightening shade. Perhaps I will try the shimmering shade in my waterline at a future date and let you know, but I don't think that the highlight is bright enough and light enough for my skin tone, but I really do like this pink side. All right, so overall we had some hits and some misses. So the Hourglass Shadow I think is really, really beautiful. It reminds me a lot of some of the like ColourPop Super Shock shadows, the L'Oreal shadows that came in like the little pots that were like a cream powder hybrid. Really pretty, highly recommend this one. The Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner, I'm gonna say is a pass. The wand is very, very stiff. I prefer it to either be a felt tip, tip pen or like a brush that you can actually move. This one's just way too stiff for my preference. The Jouer Powder, I really wanted to like this. I really, really wanted to like this, but I feel like it just made my lines and creases and texture even more emphasized. It says it's supposed to be smoothing. I did not find that to be the case. So for me, this one's also a pass. The Pure Mascara, will I use it again? I definitely will. Is it gonna be a favorite? Jury's still out on that one. I don't know, I don't feel like it separated and gave me that intense black color fast enough, but I will continue to use it. So this one I'm on the fence about. It's not bad by any means. I just don't know if it's gonna become a favorite. And then the Benefit Highbrow Duo Pencil. I really like the brightening shade on this. I think this is the pencil that Emily Noel has been raving about. She uses the brightening shade in her waterline quite often. It looks beautiful on her. So I do like the linen pink. I'm just not sure about the soft gold yet. So good product, just not sure if the tone is perfect for me, but really nice product. So I would say this was quite a mixed bag. We had some hits and some misses, but that's the fun part of trying new makeup. You never know if you're going to like it until you try it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.